It's not just happening in New York, though it does seem particularly dire in the nation's biggest school system, thanks, of course, to the mayor of that city, Bill de Blasio, who, by the way, could soon end the city's best schools. The mayor is currently considering a proposal that would abolish all gifted programs citywide in the name of achieving classroom diversity. Nicole Maliotakis is a New York State Assemblywoman who ran against Mayor de Blasio for mayor, and she joins us tonight. Nicole, thanks so much for coming on. So the, it, I don't think it's an overstatement to say that there are a few number of schools that really are the crown jewel, not just of the New York system, but really of the country. Some of the best high schools in the world are public schools in New York, and with one signature, your mayor is threatening to eliminate them? Well, yeah, these are specialized schools that have produced... Nobel Prize winners, and the hypocrisy yes. of it all is even his son Dante graduated from one of these specialized schools. So not only is he trying to reduce the standards at these schools, he wants to completely eliminate our gifted and talented program, which is in such high demand. 78% of the kids that qualify for these programs don't even get in because there's not seats, and parents and teachers want more seats added. Meanwhile, a mayor wants to get rid of it for some social justice experiment that he's right. trying to accomplish. And, and the bottom line here is that when every student can qualify for these gifted and talented schools, that's when we have achieved true social justice because we'll be preparing them for the real world. The weirdest part of this story and the most telling part is he's justifying this desecration of the one good thing left in New York City on the grounds of diversity. But these schools are not majority white. I mean, they're actually, I, I think, pretty overwhelmingly non-white immigrant. That's who's going to pay the price. Many are Asian uh, children who are first generation. Uh, they are, come from poor families. They've worked hard to get into these programs. And the mayor wants to basically end this program uh, instead of actually lifting up the children in other schools who are not able to qualify these programs. Right. That's the whole key here. This mayor has spent three quarters of a billion dollars to hire high-priced consultants, some of them even $1,400 a day, instead of actually putting that money into helping lift the children from all across our city that actually need the help, whether it be through test yeah. prep, whether it be through adding a teacher's assistance. And that's one of the reasons why I'm running for Congress, because this is federal money that's trickling down to the city level, and it's not getting where it needs to go. And that's our right. mayor is looking to conduct this social experiment. And again, he should be looking to lift every child in New York City, not be spending uh, all this millions yeah. and millions and billions of dollars on, on all these consultants and vendors. To destroy things, I've noticed. Assemblywoman, thanks so much for joining us tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, and thank you for sharing it. Of course.